Before we get started, I want to orient you because I'm about to show you a secondary map and it is connected to this map, the map of our present state, our identity, our emotions, how we attach and how we see our place in the world. You see the default mode network and the Mohawk of self-awareness have something in common. They're all parts of our brain. Well, now I'm going to show you our chemistry. Most trauma survivors have at least one body chemical or peptide that their system learned to rely on more than the others. Not because it's who you are, but because it worked. It kept you going, kept you functioning, it kept you alive. Up here is the bonding family. Oxytocin, vasopressin, prolactin. If you want an easy way to remember it, think mom, dad, baby. Bonding, protecting, caregiving. And over here is the opiate family. Endorphins, incophelins, dynorphins. Good shorthand is happy, calm, numb. Relief, regulation, shutdown. And below that, you'll see CRH and substance P because ongoing stress and pain drive these systems. And over here, NPY and galanin, chemicals that help the body endure and buffer stress. And over here, we have orexin. Think of it as the inner drill sergeant, the go, go, go chemical. It recruits motivation, urgency, and alertness, which is why you'll often see dopamine, glutamate, and norepinephrine around. I'm telling you, if these three little chemicals could get in a lab and create a super baby together, it would be orexin. Now that you've met all the key players, know this. This arc isn't about diagnosing yourself. It's about recognizing which chemical your body leaned on, what it gave you, and what it cost you. Because once we understand the science, we can do what with it? We can figure out ways to hack that sucker. That's what we can do. Tomorrow, we start with dynorphins, the peptide that comes online when stress doesn't shut off and numbness becomes survival.